Okay, guys. Um, I want to show you how the new physics, uh, how you need to adapt to uh, compensate for the new uh, physics engine in Unity 5. Okay, so this is how it works. Um, as soon as you add a mesh collider to your object, um, let me show you. Okay, so when I play it, um, I should get an error message. Uh, non kinematic rigid bodies are no longer supported in Unity 5. Okay, uh, no collisions occur as you can see. Now, um, I need to turn on convex. Immediately when I turn it on, I get this error message. User provided hole must have less than 256 vertices. Let me just play it again. Yes, okay, cool. So, no collisions occur because of. I mean, there's a problem, right? Now, um, so what I did was I went into Blender and I just uh, went to its low. Uh, I took the low poly. <coughs> I took the low poly mesh, and um, as soon as I put that onto uh, the mesh collider, as you can see, it now takes the. F it, it 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 now doesn't take the correct form of that low poly mesh, even though. If I look at it, as you can see here, um, I mean that's that's what it looks like. But when I apply it to this, that app, uh, when I apply when I apply it to the object, that's what happens. So this is the solution, or this is how I came up with it. First, remove the component. Um, I'm going to create two. I'm going to create a new game object. Let's call this front hole. Call this back hole. I'm gonna drag and drop it into my um, uh, under my main object that I want it to be affected affected by. I'm going to add a mesh collider to. I'm gonna add mesh colliders to both of these. Convex on, convex on. So what what you need to do is you need to create different parts. Um, in order for it to take the shape. So I went into Blender, Blender and all I did was I split the mesh. So here you can see this is the, what, the front part and this is the back part. So all you need to do then is take the front part, put that in there. Let me just reset those transformations and go to the back hole. Uh, sorry, back hole. And I'm going to put that in there, also reset that. Now you can see it takes the shape very nicely. And if I collide in it, no error message, messages, and the collisions happen perfectly. Hope this helps, guys. Rock on.